Let's go to our political editor, Jane Patterson. Hi, Jane. Are you there? I am, John. Thank you. Thanks for waiting because we were going to talk to you before we played that uh, audio. What do you make of all of this? Well, what a couple of weeks in Parliament. I have never seen anything like it, to be quite frank. Two opposition leaders in as many weeks. We're going into this general election with a new lineup of leaders on the left. And Materia Today's dramatic resignation comes, of course, after several weeks of questions about um, what happened when she was on a benefit and really came to a head today. Um, I spoke to her just a short time ago. She said that she had um, started to come to this conclusion earlier today that it became um, a, the decision that was right for her and um, finally, on, on checkpoint this afternoon, confirmed that resignation. Was it the right thing to do politically? Let's set this, and, 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 and this is in terms of the Greens, and let's remember, and, and you will know this of course, but some people may have forgotten the Greens have never had a seat in Cabinet. So Helen Clark didn't invite them into a formal coalition. She went with New Zealand first instead. So if you were saying, right, pragmatically, what do the Greens have to do to get into government? Was this the right decision? The Greens have been incredibly focused for a number of terms getting into government and having the power and the authority to introduce some of the policies, including the ones that we've had Materia today talk about. They were um, devastated, really, in 05 when um, Helen Clark went with New Zealand First and have continued to eye those government seats. So I think one tipping point was absolutely her being ruled out as a minister. Because, look, while you might be in a party that's in government, that is different than having your hands on that ministerial portfolio. I think putting all of that aside, this really starting was starting to damage the party. Mrs Today acknowledged that at the media conference she's just held in the last hour. She said it would was starting to hinder the co-papa. I also asked James Shaw about it, and um, while he wasn't willing to really come out and and say it as brutally as that, I think definitely he was starting to become concerned. Although he did say that he had not put any pressure on Materia today to resign. Now, in practical terms, this means that the Green Party goes into this election about five weeks away with a sole co-leader. They will not replace replace the leader um, until an AGM at some point and that is all completely up in the air. The party is grappling with actually what to do now after the election because this is unprecedented. The constitution does not deal with this eventuation so they are scrambling at the moment to try to find, try to figure out how they're going to deal with the leadership situation um, after the election once those those poll results are in. Now talking of polls, yes, you have had one tonight. Yes, yes. Um, what does it and, say? And that's interesting too. And we will always give our disclaimer that one poll is only one poll, but Again, following the events of this week, this is incredibly interesting. Um, the News Hub Read Research poll has Labour up nine points to 33%. National sitting on about 44%. That's down a little bit. Now, that rise in Labour came at the expense of the Greens, who were down 4.7 points to 8.3. And also New Zealand First took a hit. They were down 3.8 points to 9.2 percent so really everything to play for it's everything is up in the air compared to this time last month in terms of the election that we thought we were going to be covering. J Jane have you got the preferred Prime Minister figures there are there preferred Prime Minister figures in, in this poll what are they saying about Jacinda Ardern or uh, is it too soon for that kind of number? No there is sure the sure is a preferred Prime Minister that has Bill English at 27.7 and Jacinda Ardern at his heels at 26.3 an incredible increase for her in that preferred Prime Minister stake in just a week. So this time last week was her first day in the job. A week later, she is neck and neck with Bill English in this particular poll in the preferred Prime Minister stakes. Jane Patterson, our political editor, joining us live to try and make some sense of all of this. Thank you so much, Jane.